It starts with looking, actually. Looking, flipping through photo albums, pictures, even a digital archive. I'm always looking, observing, imagining moments that I don't remember, but reimagining moments through these images I'm looking at as a child. It starts with looking, and then it gets into conversation. Then the questions come. And then I just sit with the information and just process it. My name is Naomi Jovin. I'm a photographer and I'm from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. The body work that I was working on during the Counter Histories Fellowship was a body work called Guofum. Guofum is something that centered the matriarch and my family, starting with my mother. My Collages and photographs are centered in a space of gathering. A living room, at a funeral, a wedding, celebration. My experiences with people overextend themselves to the point of sickness and death was a lot. So I think loss played a big part of why I was so afraid of erasure. Um, when my parents passed away, especially like nine months apart, I started thinking about how scary it is to lose people with their deaths specifically though. Like I was nervous and anxious about how fast and soon history can be erased, right? Identity can be erased and forgotten so fast, so soon. Strong woman. Oh, mom too. Man, she was a very strong woman. I like her. She is a powerful woman. Believe me. <laughs> she working very hard. Yeah. To take care of brother, sister. Yeah. As an artist and photographer, I'm more like cautious with how you handle people's life, face, story, narrative. So. I felt it was a good choice to cover up the figures um, because I didn't want to like display them as an object. Photo mm. fair. Women? Yes, I like it. <laughs> she do, that she did it for me, the big one here. How did you feel when you when you saw it? I like it. It's good. You said, "Why are you taking my photo? You're gonna be like the moon blanky Alna IT pour point photo, ça? Ou songe? Yeah, I'm with Elmte. Let them take my picture. You don't let them I take your picture. Yes. Man, that's a carnival, you know. Mm -hmm. You have the big carnival, you know. Uh huh. You show me, you try to. I don't, I don't, no, 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 no. Don't take don't my. Don't let him take my picture. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when I you... don't know him, how are you gonna take my picture for what? Yeah. That's only reason I don't want to take the picture. Of him. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> what they gonna do with my picture? Yeah. <laughs> what when you, you always do that to Asian people over there because. Mm -hmm. Asian people don't poor people. Mm -mm. They don't poor. They no. rich people. That's a. When we finish take their independence, you know, the big, you know, country is still over there, you know. France? Yes. They, they, they put us far, but mm -mm. we don't far. Mm -mm. We don't far. We don't far, you know. The big shot, you know, doesn't we black. Mm. Okay. Photographs 
can reframe history and propose alternative narratives for the future through re-examining history, looking at different perspectives instead of one biased one. Photography helped me break down barriers. Collaging helped me think about how things would be if things were different, right? And helped me like imagine and fantasize and like create like fake narratives to live in for the moment. I can't be anything else but an artist. Being an artist, I get to heal through this. I get to take my time and show up in the world as myself.